Hello everyone, I am Dr. Deepika Malik and welcome back to my channel. Today we will start with a new topic that is biosensors. A biosensor is a compact analytical device that integrates a biological recognition element with a transducer to detect and measure specific biological, chemical or physical processes. It operates by interacting with biological components such as enzymes, antibodies or cells to produce a signal proportional to the concentration of the target analyte in a sample. This signal is then converted into a measurable output often in the form of an electrical, optical or thermal response. Biosensors are widely used in various fields including medical diagnostics, environmental monitoring, food safety and biotechnology due to their ability to provide rapid, selective and sensitive detection of specific substances. Working of a biosensor A biosensor consists of a biological recognition element or receptor such as enzymes, antibodies or nucleic acids like DNA or RNA. This element has a high affinity for the target analyte. Interaction with analyte when the sample containing the target analyte is introduced into the biosensor, the biological recognition element interacts selectively with the analyte. Signal generation. This interaction generates a signal. For example, if enzymes are used, they may catalyze a reaction that produces a product which can be measured. In the case of antibodies or nucleic acids, binding with the analyte can lead to a change in an electrical, optical or thermal property. Transduction. The generated signal is transduced or converted into a measurable output. Transducers can be optical, example fluorescence, absorbance, electrochemical, example amperometry, potentiometry or mass-based, example piezoelectric. Signal detection and analysis. The transduced signal is detected and analyzed. The signal's magnitude or change is directly proportional to the concentration of the target analyte in the sample. Output display. The final result is often displayed on screen or recorded for further analysis. Now let us understand in more detail the biological recognition elements. As already told, a biosensor typically contains a biological recognition element or receptor that has a high affinity for the target analyte. The choice of the recognition element depends on the nature of the analyte and sensitivity required and its application. When the sample containing the target analyte is introduced into the biosensor, the biological recognition element interacts selectively with the analyte. Common examples of biological recognition element in biosensors can be seen in the following table. If the recognition element is an enzyme, for example, it's glucose oxidase, then it can be used for blood glucose monitoring. If the enzyme is urease, it is used for urea detection. Lactase oxidase is used for measuring lactate level. Acetylcholinesterase can be used to measure pesticides and neurotoxins. Antibodies or immunoreceptors like monoclonal antibodies can be used for disease diagnostics, example cancers or infectious diseases. Polyclonal antibodies can be used for detecting foodborne pathogens. Nucleic acids like DNA probes can be used for genetic testing and pathogen detection. Aptamers, which are single-stranded nucleic acid molecules that bind specifically to target molecules, can be used for detection of proteins, small molecules and cells. Microorganisms such as E. coli can be used for water contamination monitoring. Cyanobacteria for toxin detection in water. Receptors such as glutamate receptors for neuroscience research, hormone receptors for measuring or detecting the hormone level, example estrogen or cortisol, cells like mammalian cells for drug screening and toxicity studies, yeast cells for environmental toxin or drug detection, lectins such as corn cannabinoid A for detection of glycoproteins and polysaccharides in food and clinical diagnostics. Next we see is transducer. A transducer is a crucial component responsible for converting the biological recognition, binding or interaction event between the analyte and the biological recognition element into a measurable output or signal. The signal is directly proportional to the concentration of the analyte in the sample. The form 
of the signal generated in a biosensor depends on the biosensor's design and the type of transducer used. Here are several common forms of signal generated by various transducers in the table given. Electrochemical signals can be generated in the form of current and the type of transducer used for that is imperometric transducers, for example for blood glucose monitoring or enzyme activity assays. If the signal is in the form of potential, then potentiometric transducers can be used, for example in pH sensors or ion selective electrodes. If the signal is in the form of conductivity, then conductometric transducers are used, for example in detection of ionic strength in solutions. Optical signals can be generated in the form of absorbance and the transducers used for these are photometric transducers, for example in DNA analysis and pathogen detection, fluorescence or phosphorescence signals for which fluorometric transducers are used, for example in drug discovery or molecular diagnostics, refractive index changes, surface plasma resonance transducers are used for them for measuring protein interactions and biomolecular binding studies. If there is a color change, then colorimetric transducers are used and they are used in clinical diagnostics and environmental monitoring. Thermal signals in the form of heat changes, for them colorimetric transducers are used again and they can be used for enzyme activity assays and metabolism studies. Mass based signals in the form of mass change. Piezoelectric transducers or quartz crystal microbalances are used and the applications include antibody antigen interaction or pollutant detection. For frequency changes signals, piezoelectric transducers are used for DNA hybridization and chemical sensing. Next is signal processing unit in a biosensor which is a critical component responsible for receiving amplifying and processing the transduced signal generated by the biosensor's transducer. It plays a crucial role in converting the raw data from the transducer into a meaningful and quantifiable result. Functions of the signal processing unit includes signal amplification. It amplifies the weak signals generated by the transducer. This is especially important when the transduced signal is small and needs to be increased for accurate measurement. Signal conditioning. The unit may condition the signal by filtering out noise or removing any interference that could affect the accuracy of the measurement. Analog to digital conversion. In many cases, the unit digitizes the analog signals generated by the transducer into a digital format. This allows for precise measurements and easy processing. Data processing. The signal is processed and analyzed to extract relevant information. This can include the identification of peaks, calibration or determining the analyte's concentration. Output generation. Once the data is processed, the unit generates an output that can be displayed recorded or communicated to external devices. This output often takes the form of numerical values, graphs or other visual representation. Now let us see the types of biosensors which can be categorized based on transduction method, biological sensing element, applications and emerging biosensor technologies. Now let us see all of these in detail. Based on transduction methods, biosensors can be categorized as electrochemical biosensors. The principle for this is that it measures changes in electrical signals such as current, potential or conductivity due to biochemical reactions. Imperometric biosensors measures current generated by redox reactions, example glucose biosensors. Potentiometric biosensors detect changes in potential or voltage caused by ion concentration. Conductometric biosensors monitors changes in electrical conductivity of a solution and they are used for glucose monitoring, pH sensing and enzyme activity assays. Optical biosensors, they detect changes in light properties such as absorption, fluorescence or refractive index due to biological interactions. Fluorescent biosensors uses fluorescence intensity changes. Surface plasma resonance measures refractive index changes on a metal surface. Colorimetric biosensors observe color changes in reactions. 
Applications include pathogen detection, drug discovery and DNA analysis. Piezoelectric biosensors detects mass changes or mechanical vibrations on a piezoelectric crystal due to biomolecular interaction. They are used for detecting antibodies, DNA hybridization and pollutants. Thermal biosensors, they measure heat released or absorbed during biochemical reactions. Applications include enzyme activity analysis and metabolism studies. Based on biological sensing elements, biosensors can be categorized as enzyme-based biosensors. The principle is that enzymes catalyze specific reactions and the reaction product or change is detected. Example, glucose oxidase biosensors for diabetes monitoring. Advantages are that they are highly specific and sensitive. Immunological biosensors, they are used for antigen-antibody interactions detection. Application includes disease diagnostics, detecting foodborne pathogens. Examples are ELISA-based biosensors. DNA biosensors detect specific DNA sequences via hybridization or molecular recognition. They are used in genetic testing, forensic analysis and pathogen detection. Microbial biosensors uses microorganisms to detect environmental changes or specific analytes. They monitor water quality, detect toxins and fermentation control. Cellular biosensors employs whole cells as a sensing element to monitor physiological changes. Applications include drug testing, cytotoxicity testing and environmental monitoring. Based on application, medical biosensors, the purpose for them is diagnosis, treatment monitoring and health management. Example includes blood glucose sensors, pregnancy test strips, wearable heart monitors. Environmental biosensors, they detect pollutants, toxins or contaminants in air, water and soil. Examples include sensors for pesticides, heavy metals and pathogens. Food industry biosensors ensure food safety and quality. Sensors for detecting allergens, bacteria and spoilage. Industrial biosensors are used in process control and optimization in manufacturing. They are used for monitoring fermentation processes and detecting contaminants. Emerging biosensor technologies, wearable biosensors, these are miniature devices designed to be worn on the body or integrated into clothing or accessories designed to monitor physiological or environmental parameters continuously. Devices like smart watches and fitness tracker monitors health parameters in real time. Nano biosensors, they utilize nanomaterials such as nanoparticles, nanotubes or nanowires to enhance the sensitivity and specificity of detection. They are used in a wide range of applications including medical diagnostics, environmental monitoring and food safety by detecting biological analytes at very low concentration. Paper-based biosensors, they are low-cost, disposable, Sensors that utilize paper as a substrate for detecting biological substances. They are often used in point of care diagnostics and environmental monitoring, leveraging simple chemical reactions or immobilized biomolecules for rapid on-site analysis. Smartphone integrated biosensors, they leverage smartphones for data analysis and communication. Thank you for watching the video. For any doubts and queries, you can contact me through the given email address.